Hey guys, PC Cool Kid, and today I'm going to show you how to easily increase your Windows Vista performance. Uh, you can do this with any version of Windows Vista, and you don't have to download anything. Uh, but the program that I'm going to show you that you can download, which is totally optional, is CCleaner, which is right here. Uh, it's free, um, but we'll get back to that later. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to disable all this fancy looking stuff like Arrow and your desktop background because that can eat a lot of memory and processing. So you got to click on your start menu. You're going to go to the start search and you're going to type in msconfig. Alright, now right click it and run as administrator. Click continue in the UAC. Okay, now you'll have the uh, system configuration booted up. Now, under services, I recommend that you um, click on hide all Microsoft services. Um, this is only because some Microsoft services, if they're turned off on startup, uh, it can deeply mess with your system. So I just recommend doing that. And now you'll get your installed program's uh, system services here. Now um, you can uncheck and check everything that you uh, don't want to run, like this game console service. I don't want that to run, so I unchecked it. And if I want to enable everything, I just click on enable all. If I want to disable everything, I just click on disable all. Now startup programs. These are the programs that start up when your computer boots. Um, usually they're um, a lot harder to tweak with uh, than services so um, if you don't know what uh, your startup item means you just google it uh, so if I wanted to see what this key notify application startup item meant I'd go to Google and I type in uh, how do you say it? Uh, key notify uh, key notify key notify application and probably right here at process library this is where there's a lot of um, startup item processes so you can figure out what they are you click on it and on the website when it loads give it some time come on alright so alright there we go um, when it opens, it'll tell you what it is, uh, if you should really use it or not, um, it just gives you a bunch of information. Um, I have that enabled anyway, so, you can tweak with this too, the same thing goes with this as in services, you can enable on, disable all, and then once you do that, you click OK, and if you changed anything, a prompt should come up, uh, on your screen telling you to restart, you can either restart then or restart later. So that's the first thing. Now the second thing we're going to do, we're going to disable all these uh, theme styles and stuff. So we're going to right click on my computer, go to properties, or computer in Vista anyway. Uh, go to advanced system settings, and the UAC, click on continue. And now we'll minimize that. You'll get a list of system properties tabs. Now the only thing that you should really do is you should go to advanced and under performance click on settings. Okay, now it says right here let Windows choose what's best for my computer. The th weird thing is about that is not the best thing uh, for your computer at all. Um, you, if you want uh, best appearance it's the same thing everything's checked. You don't want best appearance if you want the best performance you just click on this and it will give you the best performance. Uh, if you still want um, the theme files to run, uh, like the visual styles, you uh, go to custom and you just click on use visual styles on windows and buttons. Uh, but we're not going to do that. We got to max it out. We got to go to adjust for best performance. We got to click apply. And we're going to wait. And then we got to click OK and OK. Now we're going to right click on desktop, go to personalize, go to theme we're going to select um, Windows Classic and apparently it's already in so I don't really understand what's going on hold on okay so 
Windows Classic, apply, and okay, there we go. Um, so as you see, I have no background. That helps, uh, believe it or not. Um, I don't have the visual styles enabled. And basically, that's the easiest way to do that without having to download anything. But with this program, CCleaner, you can go to my videos and you can look at how to install it. You just double click it. And in the UAC, again, you click continue. And um, once you launch it, you'll be able to clean uh, different junk files for Windows and applications. Uh, you can analyze the files or you can just go right uh, to the cleaner. Um, you just click on run cleaner and as you see it just um, cleaned 24 megabytes from my disk uh, all junk files temporary files uh, different stuff you can uh, uncheck and check the things that you want to be cleaned like uh, applications you can do Mozilla Firefox if I didn't want anything to be cleaned from that I do that but I do um, and registry uh, you scan for issues it will scan your registry with time and wait till it gets to 100% and then you fix selected issues and if you want to back it up then you click on yes if you don't which I'm not going to do you just click no and then you fix all selected issues or you could do it one at a time and then you confirm that you want to um, fix them so let's say issue fixed and that's basically it then you restart your computer and your computer should run noticeably faster so there you go guys thought it'll help bye